Manners maketh man. Buddy, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Kingsman the Golden Circle. So, Kingsman the Golden Circle is directed by Matthew Vaughn, it is also written by Matthew Vaughn as well as some others. And the film stars Taryn Edgerton, Colin Firth, Julian Moore, Channing Tatum, Halle Berry, Pedro Pascal, and Jeff Bridges. So, Kingsman the Golden Circle is about when this woman named Poppy completely destroys the Kingsman men headquarters. When that happens, Eggsy and the other members of the organization have to team up with this organization and the U.S. known as the Statesmen in order to stop Poppy. So Kingsman the Golden Circle, I was very excited for this film without a doubt because I honestly really enjoyed the original Kingsman. And it showed Colin Firth in something we've never seen him in before, which was being the action star. And so with Matthew Vaughn coming back to write and direct Kingsman the Golden Circle, I couldn't wait to see how Kingsman the Golden Circle would turn now. And I would hope, even if it's not better than the first, that it could at least be as fun as the first. And honestly, that's what I could say Kingsman the Golden Circle is, at least in my eyes. I actually had just as much fun with this sequel as I did with the original Kingsman. Now, one of the things I have to obviously credit in this film straight off the bat is Matthew Vaughn's direction. His direction is really great with Kingsman the Golden Circle. Just like with the original film, he absolutely brings me into this world and I really wanted to see where he was going to further the story here. And as far as the writing goes with him as well as others, I actually thought the writing in this film was very well done. And now I could just go ahead and move on with the performances and just say that Taron Edgerton, just like in the first film, is great as Eggsy. He's definitely now the gentleman he became by the end of the first film. So from the beginning of this film to the end, it was very cool to see Eggsy being this full gentleman for the Kingsman organization. Taron Edgerton really knows how to play Eggsy and Eggsy is just such a fun character. I really liked him here. Now this is not a spoiler. It's been confirmed that this certain actor was returning and that actor is Colin Firth as Harry. I still really liked him here. Especially Especially when you do get to the climax with him and Eggsy. Just seeing those two actually fighting together because they really didn't fight together in the first film. So to actually see that in the sequel was so satisfying, was so awesome. And since I'm technically speaking the action sequences because the climax is definitely action packed, I gotta just say this, the action is very, very exciting. I already talked about Matthew Vaughn's direction. He really does a solid job and he does bring the over the top visual style. It's just as thrilling, as exciting as the original film. And there was some really cool camera work that Matthew Vaughn used when filming these action sequences. You got more of your Kingsman stuff, but then you have your moments with Pedro Pascal as this gunslinger and all those moments with Pedro Pascal Pascal, by the way, when he's doing his gunslinging, was really awesome. And any other action piece that just goes on throughout this entire film is truly fantastic. But by far, my favorite action sequence, and it is very lengthy, is obviously in the climax. And not only is it over the top, but it is very violent, just like with the original film. It still brings the R-rated violence that we've all loved. Mark Strong is still really good as Merlin. I love Merlin in the original film, and I really love this character even more. And not to 
to really spoil anything, but I really respected this character. And you know, when XC didn't have Harry, because obviously Harry isn't in the film until uh, just a little later, he had Merlin to be on his side. And I did really love the moments between Eggsy and Merlin. Obviously, the scenes with Eggsy interacting with Harry was great, but whenever Eggsy was interacting with Merlin, those scenes were definitely some of my favorite moments in this film. The cinematography, as expected in the Matthew Vaughn movie, is absolutely beautiful. It's bright, it's crisp. This is some of the best cinematography I've seen this year. And that same thing goes to, obviously, the first film when it came out in 2015. But here in the sequel, the cinematography is just so clear. The colors really do pop out. And I was just very impressed with the overall lighting in this feature. And then, obviously, we do have new Newcomers. We have Halle Berry in this film. Not in this film like a whole whole lot. I'd say she's in it enough, but she is good for what she has. She's not given much to do, unfortunately, but she is good for what she has. Jeff Bridges shows up for a total of like three scenes. I even counted how many scenes Jeff Bridges shows up in this film, but he is very good for what he has. He is Jeff Bridges. Channing Tatum also not in this film that much. However, I still really liked him, despite the fact that he doesn't have the great accent it can be quite distracting but I still thought that he did a very good job and he looked like he was having a ton of fun for the minimal screen time that he had also a certain singer and I know it's already confirmed but I still won't bring him up out of respect for those that may not know this certain singer actually makes pretty much an extended cameo like he's actually in the movie more than expected for a cameo whenever he shows up it is freaking comedic gold every time this guy showed up I honestly was laughing so hard, especially when we get to the climax. Those moments were seriously just so great. And now I have to, of course, talk about Julian Moore as Poppy. Poppy is a really fun antagonist. She is so crazy. She's the definition of a psycho, but she is a calm psycho. She doesn't shout or anything. She just says all these menacing things and such a calm and soothing voice but it's honestly creepy and I honestly think that's thanks to Julianne Moore being so committed to this role. You can tell Julianne Moore really wanted to be there that she loved playing this role and she definitely is different from Samuel Jackson's character as Valentine in the original film. That's another thing that I find great. You know, I really like the antagonist in the first film for different reasons, and that same thing does apply here with the Golden Circle. And the humor, of course, because there's a lot of over-the-top things that happen in this film, the humor, I do think it's very well done. I am laughing constantly a whole lot. Oh, and Pedro Pascal, I just gotta bring him up. He's awesome in this film, and it's really baffling that the marketing doesn't really credit him. He does steal the show as this gunslinger. I really liked him. And the, the, the film did something with his character that I really appreciated. Like, he proved to be more than just the gunslinger. And I found it to be very interesting. And, you know, I already mentioned the action, how great it is. All the scenes that involve him really are so terrific. And I also have to give respect to Matthew Vaughn the writers because there's a certain character I didn't really expect them to bring back in this film, but they did. And that is actually the princess. If you remember at the end of the first film, uh, Eggsy gets the princess and, you know, things happen, but they actually go with the story of the two of them actually being in a relationship, which, yes, may be a little bit creepy because she's obviously older than Eggsy, but surprisingly, I did buy into their romance. I think there was very nice chemistry with the two of them, and I surprisingly did buy into their storyline. Maybe, yes, they could have done a little more with their storyline. I can definitely acknowledge that, but I still did 
really like what the film had to offer whenever we did cut to their storyline. And there's also a subplot dealing with the president, and that was very well done. I was honestly not expecting that, but that part of the story I was actually very impressed with. And I have to say, for a film that's two hours and 21 minutes long, I'd say besides moments where I did feel the pacing, it flies by. As far as flaws do go with Kingsman the Golden Circle, I will say that the film does drag just a little bit, not a whole lot considering it's 2 hours and 21 minutes. It would just be a little bit just in a few spots where I thought it was kind of just like dragging, but then eventually it really does pick back up. There is a scene that felt awkward and extremely out of place, and although yes, this certain scene makes sense for Eggsy's mission, it's a sexual scene, and it was very off-putting, and the way Matthew Vaughn directed this scene, yeah, it didn't really need to be in the film, or at least Matthew Vaughn could have filmed in a way where it didn't come off as creepy, but yeah, I could have done without that scene, to be honest. Julian Moore a great antagonist. I really do love her as Poppy, but there is one negative I do have when it comes to this antagonist. She doesn't really do anything. Like, she just sits there or she'll say some very creepy things and the thing she does say really does come off as creepy for me like I really bought into her creepy presence but when I really look back at the film her character never really does anything physical like you would think maybe you would get even a moment where she has to fight Harry or Eggsy that doesn't even happen either, surprisingly. Now, the film does explain how Harry is alive. I will say how that was explained felt honestly pretty rushed and it was kind of lazy. And honestly, even though it was great to see Colin Firth back, I really don't think there was any purpose for him to really come back. I think this film still could have worked even if Colin Firth wasn't in this film. Now when we get to the climax with him and Eggsy, that was awesome. That was great. But for the majority of the movie, we're focused on Harry having amnesia and him trying to get his memories back. Like it's a cliche we have to put up with for the majority of this film. I just wish that we didn't have to deal with the whole amnesia thing for like the majority of the movie. I think maybe at least an hour in we could have gotten back the Harry that we love from the original film but it's not really until the climax when that exactly happens. Also without spoiling anything there are certain characters that the movie kills off and there's no need for the movie to do that. If there's any issue that truly truly did bug me. All these other issues in this film really don't bug me as much as you would think, but this one issue did really bug me. There really was no need for Matthew Vaughn and the rest of the writers to really kill off some of these characters. It felt so forced. It felt so out of nowhere. Similar to the original film, I would say that there's a few times where the film, I do feel like, takes itself a little too seriously. I do think the original film takes itself a little more more seriously than this one so I wouldn't say it's as much of a problem this time around but there are still those few moments where I'm like okay it's a little too serious but luckily it doesn't really last all that long and for my final issue with this film there are characters that are underused Channing Tatum like I said earlier he's underused and I really did like him despite his not so great accent and the the film. I really did like his character and his performance was really fun, but you only get like maybe 
five to eight minutes of screen time with him in total, and that's kind of a bummer. Halle Berry, there's nothing more to her character. She is good, it's just that they don't really do much with her character. Jeff Bridges just shows up for a few scenes, he's underused. But overall, even with all those flaws I did just mention, I had so much fun with Kingsman the Golden Circle. This movie absolutely delivers on what it sets out to do, which is being a ton of fun, being extremely over the top. It's crazier than the first film. I thought the writing here was very solid. Matthew Vaughn continues to do a very good job with his direction. The cinematography looks beautiful. The action sequences really are so much fun to watch. The score, the music that plays in the background, I forgot to mention that. That was really great too. The performances from everyone were really great, despite the fact that some of the characters were really underused. It's a solid sequel to a solid original film and I am going to give Kingsman the Golden Circle 3 out of 4 stars. Literally the same rating I gave the original film. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Kingsman the Golden Circle and how does this compare to the original for you. And of course, everybody, this is your gentleman, 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have... Tag power!